Hello, hello! This is my awkward wave where my face isn't in front of the camera. How are we all doing today, friends? Um, it's Monday. Monday means a live video packed full of value. Um, I'm just having a quick look on my laptop so that I can share this into the fashion studio. Ba, 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 share to a group. I'm a little bit early today, guys. I do apologise. Um, Monday madness. Everything's kicking off. I've got a lot of commuting to do, driving around in the car. Um, oh, Kirsty, you're on time. Now, I do apologise, my friends. I'm stood here and the comments and everything are behind the camera here. So in terms of me being able to see them... Um, Live time is going to be a bit difficult because obviously I want to focus on what I'm doing and give you all the value. I'll try and set up on my laptop, but we will see how it goes. So hello, Kirsty. Hello, Kareen. Have I pronounced your name right, Kareen? What a beautiful name either way. Um, but I'm so pleased that you're joining me. And today, this was quite serendipitous. Now, I don't know if that's the right word, but it sounds nice and it rolls off the tongue. Serendipitous. Coincidental is probably the better word, because last week we did top tips for high-end garments. And one of the tips was to pattern match. And this week, without even thinking about it, I had scheduled in um, a really quick, easy, cheap way to pattern match. So this kind of rolls on nicely from what we touched upon last week. Hi, Dorothy. Hello. I have set up comments now, guys. I'm getting better with this technological malarkey. So um, I can see what you're saying as long as my internet plays ball. Disclaimer, before we jump into this, please forgive my Frankenstein patterns. This is the reality when they're not all neat. <laughs> I had to find something that would fit on screen in this tiny little setup I've got going. And so um, I'm not sure if you'd seen that kind of ditzy patterned wrap skirt I did. If you haven't, I'll share it again in the fashion studio after this. Um, but this was the pattern. For those who want to join the membership, the first workshop we're going to do is drafting this kind of skirt to your own body measurements. So we're going to do a drafting a skirt workshop to your body measurements. That's going to be the first awesome workshop I've got planned. Today, um, before I get all carried away and digress, we are going to work through a really quick, simple way to pattern match your sewing projects. It is so simple. I feel like, oh, good morning, Helen. Hello, hello. Um, it is so simple. I feel like you're going to think I've cheated you out of some value here. <laughs> but it really is just a very straightforward um, way to match up your textile prints. We've got this textile here, which is like a cotton canvas. If any of you recognise it, it was what I wore in the most recent asymmetric collot make I did. Um, and as you can see, it's got like a nice little check print on it that's a bit irregular. So we've got um, two spaces here, followed by a square full of lines here. So if we're trying to match this up, we want to be matching up our horizontal lines as they run across. We want it to be nice and seamless. You want to be able to look at a seam on a garment and struggle to see the seam because the pattern matches up so beautifully, if that makes sense. Let me know if I'm waffling. 100% I am, but I hope you're all with me <laughs> anyway. So just to explain what this Frankenstein pattern is here, this is the side seam of the skirt, just so that you know what you're looking at. Um, and you've got these lines here, which are the hip line um, and the mid hip line and everything, but don't concern yourself with that. If you take your first pattern piece, now this can be, or well, 100% is definitely more wasteful on textiles. I'm afraid that's just part and parcel of pattern matching. Um, it does take up more fabric because you obviously have to move these pieces around to make sure that you are matching everything up nicely. If we butted them together like that and we cut our pattern pieces out like so, you are not taking into consideration the seam allowance. Let me try and twist my pencil. Alex has gone and picked up the only pencil without lead in it. Of course I have. 
Also, sorry for referring to myself in the third person. I absolutely hate it when people do that. Um, okay, so what we're doing here, if we just butted them together, we wouldn't be considering our seam allowance, which on this pattern is 1.5 because I did a nice little French seam. So we wouldn't be considering the seam allowance here. Therefore, if we cut it out and sewed it together, apologies if you can hear the quad bike, never a dull day in this studio. If we cut those out and sewed them together, we would be missing out three centimeters from the pattern here. Does that make sense? So you need to consider your seam allowance. So where we match the patterns needs to be up to these lines here rather than the edge of your actual pattern piece. It needs to be the visible part of the garment because when we stitch a seam together, this is enclosed, this is hidden, this isn't seen from the outside world. Dirty little secrets. Right, so in some patterns, and in this case, you can use the pattern to your advantage as in the um, print of the textile. If I wanted to just line this up to the straight line there, than I could. That would be one way of making it a lot easier to pattern match. But the way I'm about to teach you today, you can place it anywhere. So let's say I want to go by here. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to draw onto my pattern the print underneath. And I'm going to draw to the, um, to the seam line, to the stitch line. I'm not drawing to the edge here because as, I, as I've just explained, that doesn't get seen. That makes us miss out a big chunk of fabric here. What we want to focus on is our seam line. And so all you're simply going to do is draw the pattern on and you don't need to draw the pattern all the way down it. If you're thinking about notches and how notches help us line up our patterns, they help us piece the jigsaw together, all you have to do is put in a few markers on where your print is underneath your pattern. Now, of course, you need some level of translucency for this, but if you had a light box, you could place that underneath, turn that on and trace that through to your pattern as well. Now you'll notice here that we do have a dart. This bears away from each other. This splits off. Let me make sure you can see that. As you can see here by the hip where we're taking out all the volume so that this fits the wearer, the pattern splits off like so. In some instances, you are not going to be able to avoid this. The pattern will warp and look different in these areas. But say we're working with a sleeve. What you want to do, obviously, is have your hip lines, the pattern match up here. And so where the pattern is by there, again, we go from the seam line. We go from this seam line here. We do not go from the edge of the pattern. Say you are now working with sleeves. If you pattern match a sleeve, you want that to carry from the sleeve onto the bodice, if that makes sense. Now, I have done a walk in your pattern. It was very slapdash, but I have done a walk in your pattern um, workshop as well. You'll be able to find that in the unit section on the um, in the fashion studio. This is your sleeve pattern here. This is your bodice and this is your armhole. When I want to match up the pattern on my sleeve, bear in mind I'm now working with a block, so there is no seam allowance added to this. You would trace this off, add your seam allowance, and then do the pattern matching I've just explained. But when you are matching up a pattern on a sleeve, what you want is for these lines to run horizontal from the sleeve onto the bodice in a nice kind of seamless transition. Use your notches in this case to line up where you're working from. Now, some sleeve patterns have ease in the head that you will just have to bear in mind. But if we go from this notch on the sleeve and this notch on the front bodice, again, one notch represents the front of a pattern. Two notches usually represent the back of a pattern as a quick way to identify what you're working with and where. If we notch this here and start walking your pattern down, this is how you can tell where to align your print. And because of this seam here is going to be joining up there when you construct your garment together, when you sew it together, this is where 
if we fold this, this is your sleeve. And when that is sewn in, it'll go like this. Does that make sense? Just the nature of garment construction. When you sew your sleeve, you'll stitch down here to create your sleeve. And then that'll be sewn into the armhole here, which will leave this line here lining up to here. So if you walk your pattern down, blah, 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 blah. This means that whatever pattern you match up here on the bodice, so say it was this chunk of pattern here, you want to make sure that on your sleeve pattern, you are reflecting that and drawing that onto your pattern so that when you come to lay it out, you'll be able to pattern match like so. Um, I hope that makes sense for you guys. I hope um, a <laughs> quick run through, I know. It is the first of the month. With it, I'm bringing new energy. This month marks the um, launch of the membership, which is really exciting. This month starts on a Monday and next month starts on a Monday. I find that really, really satisfying. Um, as always, I've blitzed through it, guys, but I try to do short and sweet, valuable um, live workshops. I've had a few new members and followers join us in the fashion studio. So if that is you, please say hello and get involved with the creative community. If anybody has any questions whatsoever about what I've just covered here or how to apply it to your own sewing projects, then please drop me a message. Let me know. Let me help and support you in creating your dream wardrobe. Um, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. A uh, nice, quick cheat sheet way of pattern matching. Same can be applied to um, patch pockets. If you have a patch pocket on a bodice, all you have to do is trace through that textile print and then line your patch pocket up and cut one out like so. As I say, it does waste more fabric. So in terms of sustainability, it's not ideal, but it does also make our garments just look that little more high end. Um, side seams, anything that's on the outside of the garment is what we want to pattern match. Anything that gets seen first. Um, so your inseam, you can get away with a little bit more um, risk with, your <laughs> with wonky lines and stuff because an inseam of a trouser isn't as visible as the outer leg. Um, so there are just a few things to bear in mind when you are trying to pattern match. Give it a go, guys. Play around with it. If you ever get stuck, you know where I am to help. Appreciate you all. Thank you for joining me today and have a lovely, lovely week. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out.